Hi everyone, it's Ben from CloudBeat and in this video I'd like to present you the functionality buttons that the Oxygen IDE has to offer. Let's start with the first one. The first one is new file. It simply creates a new file. You enter your file name in here and you choose the format you want to save it as. And then you just click create. Alright, um, open folder. This button actually what makes the Oxygen ID for a more comfortable tool to use. So let's say you want to open a folder that contains other folders. It makes it easier to maintain your code and uh, work on multiple projects. Um, this button right here simply saves uh, your file. Um, Alright, these are the three modes that the Oxygen ID has. Uh, let's talk about the first one. The first one is web mode. Um, in the web mode you can uh, choose the browser name from this list. You can uh, use these uh, three browsers. For now it's the Chrome browser, the Firefox and the Internet Explorer. Um, the second mode is the mobile mode. If you click it, you will not see any device right now because I don't have any mobile device connected to my computer. And the third one is the responsive mode. Uh, this one simply simulates uh, the devices. Let's say you want to run a test and you want to see how it's going to look on um, um, iPhone X, for example. You simply run it and it shows you the exact screen as it's shown on the iPhone X. That's pretty cool. Um, this one runs the test. Let's say delay. This one you insert the value that uh, the seconds actually uh, between each command. This one is the record button. It records any action you do on uh, on the web mode. It will be available soon on the mobile mode as well. And the setting the settings button. If you click it, you see you can uh, uh, import uh, parameter files, you can choose a file from here, you can uh, um, make more than one iteration, um, you can run it sequently, um, randomize. It's pretty cool, that's a pretty cool tool to use. Uh, 